Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Faller, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 6th and the 13th of May 2017. All along this week, uh, Mercury, which is doing its U-turn and going back into forward movement, is conjunct Uranus. Just to talk a little about it, it's, it's uh, an influence that gives us a shorter fuse, but a mind frame and a, a ability to think and communicate in a very different, upgraded and advanced way. I don't want to talk more about it. If you do want to hear more about this influence, you can do that on my previous weekly video. Uh, on the 6th today, the 6th of May, the moon is in Virgo in its square Saturn. It's a time of a lot of criticism, self-criticism and criticism towards other people in our life. Be careful not to be too critical and be good to yourself and others. Be warm, be kind. Don't be too judgmental. On the 7th and 8th, we're going to have the moon square Pluto. This is a time that we could be much more melodramatic and get pissed off and get into conflicts that we really don't need to get into. This is a time to be more logical and more refrained from emotional uh, melodrama. Um, we are really heading into an energetic peak on the night between the 10th and the 11th of May. There's going to be a full moon in Scorpio. That full moon is going to sextile uh, Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio, and the sun is going to trine Pluto on that day. This is a time that calls us to experience self-transformation, to experience inner development, to take the things that have been aching us, the things that have been frustrating us, the things that have been sitting on our shoulders and actually do something about them, actually cause them to ripen in our life and give birth to them in our life. And this is an influence that could really helps us, help us do that transformation in our life and actually give birth to those important subjects or deeds or actions in our life. The Sun, Trine Pluto, gives us a sense of inner power, inner strength, that we could step up to the challenge, that we can do it, even though it's not easy. The sextile to Pluto fuels this full moon, which is very strong already, and suggests that the change can happen more easily with the help of people around us, with the assistance of our network, of the human network around us, not alone, but together. Other than that, there's two more influences in the sky that call us to do that transformation, that call us to ripen. One uh, influence is the square between Mars and Neptune. The square between Mars and Neptune could be debilitating, could be uh, exhausting, could be, uh, it can really bring us down because what it says, it says, listen, you're gonna experience power failures. You're going to experience times in which your personal power is eroded, which things that, in which things that are stronger, unexpected, and, 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 and unexplained can come and change your plan, plans, can change what you wanted to do, what your own initiative tried to give birth to in this life, and, and cause you to feel impotent, or cause you to feel like you're power is gone, like your efforts are futile. During these times that we have a square between Mars and Neptune, Mars of course is the personal power, the personal initiative, and Neptune is everything we cannot control, everything we cannot explain, everything that is bigger and stronger than us, the universe, nature, God. When these two are in squares, we can see more people having breakdowns and even the suicide rate goes up. What we need to acknowledge is that life isn't perfect. Life is messy, life is troublesome, life is hard, life is challenging. And we need to acknowledge that we are going to have power failures. We are 
going to do mistakes. We are going to have times in our lives, and especially during the times that we push ourselves uh, more strongly forward, that things don't work out the way we want them, that we feel exhausted, that we feel be bewildered, that we feel like we want to give up. This is a part of the journey. This is a part of becoming. This is a part of the effort, because if that wasn't there, it would have been easy, wasn't, w wouldn't it? It would have been easy. The effort, the fact that it is hard, is what builds us up. And the more positive influence that helps us build, that helps have this, this infuse, uh, enthusiasm and understanding that whatever will come is better than what was if we put the effort in it. The influence that gives us the optimism to know that our efforts are not futile is that same Mars trining Jupiter all through this week at its height at the end of this week on the 12th and the 13th. So we have uh, that Mars going, applying to that, uh, uh, to that uh, trine, I'm sorry, to that trine with Jupiter, the great benefactor, giving us a lot of optimism, a lot of light, and a lot of uh, ability to really harness those energies with a smile and take things forwards, forward in our lives. What else? Let's see if I did not forget anything. Okay, just one more thing. On the 12th, at the night time, we're going to have the moon opposing Mars. This is a time to stay away from conflicts, stay away from unnecessary fights, and really stay away from aggression. So that's about everything I had to tell you about this week. I wish it's going to be a very fruitful and good week for all of us. I want to thank you for listening. And of course, for private consultations, lessons, or courses, or any question you might have, I'm always here. I'm Boaz Feiler. It's my pleasure uh, giving these messages out. And I want to thank you again for being my audience. Take care and goodbye.